Hi, science friends. It's Moon Science Girl coming to you to explain to you. Ooh, my hair is really crazy today. Um, explaining to you what to do about that experiment with those organisms. And I want to show you something to try to take you through the experimental process. Okay, so let me share my screen with you so you can kind of see. So if you look, this is a type of it. This is an experiment. So you start out with saying something like, I wonder. So I wonder if those pill bugs would like ketchup. And the hypothesis, which is a big word here, hypothesis means, hey, I think, um, or this is going to happen. Again, later on when we get older, we kind of rework that. But a hypothesis is like my educated guess. So, hmm. Looks like a like an insect. I know it doesn't have six legs, but it kind of lives in the dark. So I think the pill bug is going to like catch up because it's going to be attracted to the sweet sugary stuff. Okay. Now the procedure. That's what you're going to do. You know your procedure should be written like someone could follow it. Think about this. If you were to go and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, would you be able to tell everyone the steps to making a peanut butter and jelly? In fact, why don't you try that before you do your experiment? Try to tell our sibling or mom and dad how to make a peanut butter and jelly. See if you got all the steps. Once you come up with the procedure, you need to be ready. Now I see on, I notice on this page, it doesn't, um, Oh, and here's your materials. What materials do you need? The results. This is the part. So we have something called, um, there are observations we can see with all of our senses. Our eyes, our nose, our uh, sense of taste, our hearing, our feeling. In science, friends, if we're experimenting with animals, taste is out. Okay? Taste is out. We're not going to taste anything. Yuck. Okay, but we can be observing something else that maybe you want to time how long they move. Like how long I'm going to give it this many minutes or seconds. Lots of you have timing devices. Have an adult help you. How long would it take for them to move from one area to another? Maybe you want to set up a maze. Okay, and have them all start in one area where there's some stinky vinegar and in the other area put your ketchup or whatever. Just try some different things. And our conclusion is what did you learn? So maybe all my pill bugs didn't go to the ketchup. Well, jinkies, I was wrong. That's okay, friends. That's science. Science isn't meant to be always right. It's to learn from it. So maybe they don't like sugary stuff. Maybe they like stinky stuff. You know, some animals like stinky, rotten stuff. Okay? And some animals don't, just like people. Some people like different types of food than others. Some people don't. Can you imagine? Some people don't like chocolate. What? That's okay. Some people don't like, oh, I gotta tell you this, Muth Science Grandma, who you haven't met yet, she doesn't like syrup on her pancakes. What? But you know what? Everybody's different and that's okay. So maybe insects and, and organisms are like that too. That's okay too. So I'm going to share with you um, a Flipgrid code. If you wanted to jump on there and explain your experiment to me, I'd love to watch it. And I promise to comment back, okay? All right. Have fun with your experiment with your roly polies. See you later, science friends.